Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe. We are trying to get to 4,000 watch hours and 2,000 subscriptions. And today's polling comes from RealClearPolling.com. And we are going to fill in the map according to RealClearPolling.com. We have Washington with 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon with 8 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Montana with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. According to RealClearPolling.com, Nevada, with six electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. She has a 1.1 point lead in the state itself. Utah, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arizona, according to RealClearPolling.com, Trump has a 1.7 lead in Arizona and nabbing their 11 electoral votes. It is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Colorado with 10 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico with five electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. And North Dakota with its three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. And Nebraska, the state itself, is red for Donald J. Trump. The first district is red. In the tiniest district, we have a change. It is not filled in. It is a toss-up, but who really cares? It's <laughs> it's it's a little part of a bigger state, you know. Whatever. Kansas, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma, with seven electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas, with 40 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Now, going back to Hawaii, because I missed it earlier, with four electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Minnesota, it was a Toss up yesterday, but today it's back to leaning Democrat. It is a light blue, two clicks, 10 electoral votes for Kamala Harris. And Wisconsin, to the right of it, according to RealClearPolling.com, Kamala Harris is a 0.8 lead in the state. It's 10 electoral votes will be handed to Kamala Harris and the Democrats. And Michigan, to the right of it, somehow, with its automotive industry, Harris has a 1.3 lead in the state. It's 15 electoral votes. will be handed back to Harris. It's been flip-flopping between light red, light pink, heavy blue, heavy blue, heavy blue. For the most part, it's been blue. Both states, Wisconsin and Michigan, have been blue for most of this election cycle. If you don't like that, register to vote Republican and go out and vote to flip the states. If you do like the uh, Democrats in Kamala, register as Democrat and go and vote in Wisconsin, Michigan and make it blue once more. Iowa, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Missouri, with ten electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana, with eight electoral votes, is... Sorry, is eight electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. I was choking on cat hair. Illinois, with 19 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Here comes the red wave, splashing hard and heavy. Indiana, with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio, with 17 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky, with 8 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. West Virginia, with 4 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee, with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi, with 6 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Cousin lover Alabama State, with 9 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida, with 30 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. And according to RealClearPolling.com, Trump has a 1.3 lead in Georgia, nabbing him those 16 highly... Oh, valued electoral votes in Georgia. It is red for Donald J. Trump. South Carolina with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. According to RealClearPolling.com, North Carolina, Trump now has a 0.6 lead, nabbing him those illustrious 16 needed electoral votes. It's red for Donald J. Trump. Virginia with 13 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris and the Democrats. And Pennsylvania, according to RealClearPolling.com, they are both tied at 48.2% of the vote. It will not be colored in. This leaves the rest of the states. New Hampshire, New York, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and the rest of the districts 
to Kamala Harris. That will give the Democrats a 255 vote for the electorate and the Republicans 259 electorate votes. But let's do a test like we did yesterday. Get ready. Flip Pennsylvania to blue. That gives Kamala Harris 274 electoral votes. But now flip Pennsylvania to red, Republican. That gives Donald Trump 278 if they win Pennsylvania, either one will win the United States election of 2024. Either reclaiming the home and house of the President Donald J. Trump or for the first time claiming it as President-elect, not Vice President-elect, Kamala Harris. Pennsylvania is where this election will be decided. If you know people in Pennsylvania, get them to register to vote, Republican or Democrat. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know, as Baby said in the intro. Like, share, and subscribe. Get this information out there. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out.